Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 4. We're on day 64 in the post-post game. We've cured Ochi. And now, we still need to find the remaining two onions. And I know where they are now. I looked it up just like I said I was going to. But before we get to that... <laughs> rescue Pup training is a deep subject. I won't be surprised to find there are skills even I'm not aware of. In fact, Captain Olimar is excellent at handling pups too. He might be able to teach you a thing or two. Mm, really? Okay, so Shepard really does not have anything more. But she's saying talk to Olimar, maybe he'll know. Okay. Before I get to Olimar, there are some side missions to turn in. There's uh, Dingo. There's also Francois. And Schnoz. And that's it. Francois, Schnoz, and Dingo. Oh. What? You're joking. No one could have investigated all the areas that fast. So You're like a full-fledged ranger now. Maybe I can talk him into doing all the work from now on here. Well, I actually do want to redo those two nighttime missions and actually finish them myself rather than have Dingo do them for me. It happened. You've collected every last treasure. I'm so pleased I asked you to assist with this endeavor that I might cry. Here, please, you must accept this. Okay. Thanks to you, the treasure catalog is now complete. I'm so grateful and tempted to give you all the raw materials. Well, that's actually probably enough raw material for now. Where was Francois? Eh, why search for him? I can just use his ID badge. Let's see. There he is. And here he is. Your horticultural efforts have not gone unnoticed. The Pikmin population has bloomed thanks to you. And of course, I can continue doing this side quest forever. There you are, the aforementioned token. That is my thanks for all your hard work. Alright, was there anything else? Let's go talk to Russ. See if I can buy more stuff in the lab. I have all this material that I'm just not using otherwise. Let's see. More bomb rocks. I should use these during those nighttime missions to blow up enemies. Let's see. Uh, sure. More explosives. Uh, sure, I'll get more pick pick carrots. They have been coming in handy. And I think that's good enough for now. Okay, so, <clears throat> time to talk to Olimar. Not for the dog training, although that's something that I didn't realize I could talk to him about, so yeah, that might be interesting, but for the shipwreck tale. Oh yes, there's something I wanted to tell you. 
Given Ochi's strength, I believe he's prime a prime candidate to learn Moss's special technique. I named it the Swallow. Would you like me to teach you the skill? So here's how you use Swallow, by having him literally swallow things. Simply direct your pup to run toward whatever it is you want him to carry, and he swallows it whole to carry it. It's quite simple, but don't worry, if the Pikmin are already transporting something, he won't swallow it, or them. Please give it a try sometime. Alright, well, that's it for now. So that... So that's it, huh? So he's just learned it. And that's it. Now I can get this side mission out of the way. Hmm, that look on your face. Yes, I can see it in your eyes. It's time. You and Ochi are ready. Legendary skill can now be learned. The ultimate secret's been passed down in my family for generations. Master it and you'll be initiated into the shepherd way. <laughs> okay, gotta talk to her again, huh? Looks like it's time to head home with Ochi. You know, everyone you rescued. They're all grateful for what you did. That's the spirit. Let's get started then. Okay. Infinite Rush. With this legendary skill, Ochi gains unlimited stamina. That means he's able to keep using Rush forever. Yeah, that sounds overpowered. And it costs 8 Pup Drive, which is exactly how much I have left. Hmm. So I guess that means if I just, if I activate Rush, I can just keep using it until I stop moving. Okay. You put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Ochi, yada, yada, yada. Keep up the good work and remember, no slacking. Huh. Not very useful now, since I've basically done everything except Olimar's backstory. When I was a leafling, I saw something that still nags at me. Perhaps if I search my memories, I could piece it together. Um, tell me the tale. So there I was. Right. I really should have done this as soon as it was available, but I was just so focused on, you know, the main quest. Sun Speckled Terrace, days left 15. You must gather 30 ship parts within 15 days' time. Olimar's fate rests in the strength of your Dandoi practice. Okay. While gathering ship parts, you will also obtain gear and items. So this is basically just a sort of, I guess you could say, crumpled up retelling of Pikmin 1. As you gather ship parts, the area you can explore will expand. Okay, I was about to say, I don't like how it's black and white. This is Captain Olimar of the SS Dolphin. I am currently stranded on an unknown planet trying to recover the ship parts that were lost during the crash. My spacesuit's life support system will only last about 15 more days, so I must repair the SS Dolphin and escape from this planet before it expires. To find the missing ship parts, I'll enlist the help of the Pikmin. Okay, that's... Okay, guys. I don't have moss. That's kind of, I don't know, weird. Can't get up there from this side. I need yellows to go over there. I have to go this way. Ah. Okay, 
get that thing down, guys. Thank you. Twenty-five. I can't even get twenty-five Pikmin. Okay, so far I'm so slow. Okay, we've got a watery blowhog, which is kind of not good. Oh, there's a flarlic ball back there. I mean, I don't have blue Pikmin. Okay, that went a lot better than I had any right to expect. Come on, guys. Yep. Stop focusing on the nectar, darn it. use the charge ability. What's this? Could it be a type of onion? So far, so not terrible. Oh, there's a ship part up there. Oh dear, there's a cannon beetle. It's kind of not good, actually. A bomb rock. Oh, I can use the bomb rock on that cannon beetle. I can get that from my pack with I already know. Thank you, Olimar. to complain, I got it. Thank you. 
that part. Oh wow, that guy's right there. I kind of... I thought that was a, a cliff. Aha! Look! It's a part from the SS Dolphin. Oh, darn it. How many do I need? Okay, that'll do. Okay, where was that other part that I saw? Darn it, I got and turned around. There it is. How is that rock coming along? Thank you for the cutscene interrupting my concentration. That's one down. Let's hope I can keep up this pace and collect the rest of the parts just as quickly. Prioritize the important thing. Okay, that's two parts. Okay, since I have five Pikmin left. far so okay. okay. Those guys will be fine. Oh wow. Big old blowhog. Time flies, doesn't it? Better get back to the SS Dolphin before dark. What kind of blowhog is it? Okay, it's a fiery blowhog. <clears throat> I can handle fiery blowhogs with these guys. Excellent. Now I can use the SS Dolphin to broaden our search. Stray Pikmin 13. Okay, there's some guys right there. Stray Pikmin 8. How many do I have here? 8? No, I only have 6. Where's the other 2? Show me the map, please. There's 2 right over there. How did that happen? Disappointed in you guys. <laughs> All right. I guess that'll have to do for the one day. Collect missing ship parts to... Okay, it says right down there in the bottom left corner.
I guess I'm really supposed to do just two per day. So yeah, this is basically just a really rough retelling of Pikmin 1. Okay, got the Extraordinary Bolt and the Whimsical Radar. Yes. Added 73 Pikmin. Wow, okay. <laughs> Pikmin details. 73 new ones, 2 lost. Recovery bonus. A survey drone. A bomb rock. And the charging horn. I finally got that. I guess finally is kind of an exaggeration. <laughs> because, I mean, I only just got started after all. But now I can use the charge maneuver, which I was missing already. <laughs> huh. Hurrah! I collected my first ship part. And your second ship part. Don't forget that, Olimar. If I keep finding them at this rate, I won't have any trouble escaping this planet. With that in mind, I can't risk wasting even a single leftover component while I'm repairing the SS Dolphin. I may be able to combine them with some of the junk I have in storage to make gear and items to aid in my search. Okay. Alright, viewers. I will... Uh, actually be seeing you in the next episode yeah so we've unlocked blossoming arcadia with the two ship parts that we found okay <clears throat> so yeah viewers thank you very much for watching let's play pikmin 4 as we go through this uh, rough retelling of pikmin 1 much shorter episode than usual but uh honestly this seems like a good place to pause the action. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode when we head into the Blossoming Arcadia. Later!